Okay. Oh, hey, this already. Look at that. It's already the best show that no one is listening to. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, mm. so I don't know how to really describe this. Like, as far as YouTube is concerned, this is replacing some audio that went bad. As far as stereo is concerned, this is something that we've wanted to do for a minute. Stereo came along, and then we didn't do anything, and now we're doing it. This is Bop or Not. Uh, basically, in the, the, I, in the entire premise of this show is we introduce songs, not introduce songs, but we, we put songs on the, the bopping block. It's like a chopping block, but it ain't it good. I like it. It's like, it's like that. Um, it's on the bopping block. And you take, basically, we take a song that's either popular or it's a song that we really, really like based on a, um, we're like, we'll do categories. Each episode will be categories. And then we'll, if the person on the other end hasn't heard of the song before, has never heard the song before, they'll go to YouTube they, or, you know, wherever they can find it, listen to the song. The other person will kind of like talk about the song and the person listening to it for the first time will give a blow by blow as the song plays in their head. And then we will make a definitive decision of whether or not the song is a bop. Now for anybody who is uninitiated, which would be everybody, a bop is like a song that's Super duper duper good, great, dope, fire. Now, along with words like dope and fire, you could also say a classic, a slumper. There's many words in the English lexicon or in the, like the urban or whatever lexicon to use to describe a song that is a bop. But it was fun. Like the word was like well used at the time when I, when we came up with the idea. So yeah. So, um, yeah, first episode We're is started. Our, I thought we already started, because I've been recording. I mean, we're picking. Oh, oh. You, no, I mean, we're not, we're picking. Oh, you lost, you lost our listener. We had one listener and you lost them. Good job. You, you started talking and they live. I think that's your fault. <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, so you ain't taking responsibility for that? All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> No, so, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so here's what, so what's gonna go down is this. Um, this episode's theme, because that's kind of gonna be the thing. Is like we're gonna jump from theme to theme, just to kind of add some kind of spice to it. You know, spring, you know, do the salt bay over it. Uh, this episode's theme is country music, and I don't know why it's the theoretical. Uh, launch video or launch episode but we're doing country music because I did not take the time to actually like flesh out my list earlier today because I am awful um, would you like to go first um, I guess I can go first but you you were really excited about whatever song that oh, was there. no I want, I want that to go at the end of the episode because it is, uh, it is I'm going to laugh I can't. I can't make it first. It has to be last. It has to be the last thing we do. That only took only took us three minutes to get into the intro. All right. Did, did all right. So, I guess the first ep or the first song. First song on the bottom. I'm gonna toss out there for country. I'm putting it on the bottom block. It's a classic. It was released uh, March 23rd, 1992. Uh, that was two days after my birthday. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, but the song is Make You Break Your Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. I will be 100% with you. I ain't ever heard that song. You now I heard know it. Break your heart. I've heard it, but I ain't never heard it like... <laughs> A one and a two and a eight, eight, and like fade out. Never have I sat and heard that song from start to finish. I never heard Achy Breaky from start to finish. But I will tell you this: I don't need to hear it now to know that it's a certified bop. Like that song is like. Oh, you were gonna say it's a bop? I do not think it's a bop. Ah, you don't? I do not. <laughs> what? That is a boot scoot oh, bopper. 
What is wrong with you? No. Everybody knows AD Breaky Heart. Breaky Heart is the bop. Dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it at all. Not oh. a not a little bit. Also, just found out. Here's here's a little bit more. It's I didn't even notice. Literally, just found out. It's a freaking cover. That's not surprising. Who originally sang yes, it? I had no idea. Um, the Mercy Brothers. Huh? I ain't never heard of them. I bet you um, they killed the dude. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it says it was published in a recording by the Marcy Brothers under the title, Don't Tell My Heart. So, like, I guess, did they write it? Or they were part of the original recording process. And then, apparently, they, they recorded it in 1991. They also broke up that year. So, I guess some record executive was like, Hey, Billy. This song oh, Billy, boy. Here you go. He knew that was go. a popper. He knew that was a popper. Like, it's because, like, the whole time you was talking, I was singing it in my head. <laughs> like, the whole time. I like the song. I just don't have it. Like, it's one of those songs. It's like the Macarena. I don't have the Macarena, but it's one of them songs where it's like, everybody knows this joint. Everybody likes it. Well, at least I thought everybody liked it. Because, like, I see Boot Scoot and Boogie happening when I think uh, Achy Breaky Heart. Black people know Achy Breaky Heart. Weirdly enough, I thought you was gonna say red Black strokes. Black do know Achy Breaky Heart, but you know what? You know what? How many black people actually know the song? I think I think there's a handful of black folks that besides, if you started singing the chorus. Besides the, the, the alive because of you, Cole. Someone's brother. Yeah, that's all they know is the chorus. The next yeah, but sometimes that's all they know of like rap songs though. So that ain't saying much of nothing. Yeah. Well, in my opinion, my opinion, make you break your heart. Not a it's bop. not a bop. Okay, so you know what? I'll give you this. I'll walk, I'll walk that line with you. I will say it's a classic, but I won't say it's a bop for sure. Because, you know, our, our kind of definition of a bop is a song that when it comes on, like, you have to listen to it almost. You like almost have to stop and listen to it. And Achy Breaky is one of those songs where it's like you really, you'd prefer it be a ringtone than a song on your iPod. Like you'd rather, you just kind of want to hit the chorus. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. I, yeah. I agree with that. We, we, can, we, can give it, we can give it classic status, but Achy Breaky. Achy Breaky's not a bop. I, thought, it's I, not a bop. I, I would argue if anybody would say like, no, no, it's a certified bopper. Like if you're a country western, if you're a country music fan, especially 90s country fan, and you think it's a bop, I would side with you on that. I would 100% side with you on that, but in the context of, like, global music, it sounds like I was gargling when I said that global music. I would yeah, say, yeah, yeah it's yeah, not quite will. a bop, but it's definitely, like, a major part of American music history. Like, Achy Breaky Heart is, like, in Yeah, super, when you, when yeah. you, yeah, the, the country, the country lexicon, you know, yeah, without Achy Breaky, there would be no Miley Cyrus, you know? Yeah. So, Achy Breaky, you just uh, to say it, it launched Ray. Billy Ray into, into the stratosphere, but it's not about it. All right. All I can, right. I can do without All right. So, certified Achy Breaky Heart, not a bop. Sorry, uh, sorry, Billy Ray. Thank you for Miley, though. I mean, Where's the stamp? Give him the, give him the, the stamp. Uh, uh, I, 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 the I, I, I ain't got that much of, of a production. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have, but yeah, no. This, this we, like, didn't, we didn't. I mean, I see Miley's nipple, and I think that's like, that justifies her existence as far as I'm concerned. All right. <laughs> so now it's my turn. <laughs> so now it's my turn. I'm going to pick one of the country songs that almost always jumps off the uh like if i if it comes on i'm always almost gonna listen to it now here's the problem some of these songs i have on my list are genuinely just they're funny that's it like some of them are, like i like them because they're hilarious like not haha but like they're fun to sing but it's not because like they are like the quintessential country music song now, I'm going to start with a song that he already knows so we can like kind of speed through things so that we can kind of get more songs in. 
And I'm gonna say like out of the, out of the gate, he's gonna agree that this is a bop. I'm just telling you now, everybody. I present "Stay" by Sugarland. It's a bop. Told you. It is a I certified knew. I already knew what it was. Be. <laughs> like that song, I like like that song. It's we was. Like, I think we was going to Nashville. Oddly enough. And it came on on, the, on on your iPod, like in the car, obviously in the car. Yeah, uh, was, that, was that the first time you? you that was the first time heard I heard it. it. And like I was like sneakily like, I right, motherfucker, wait, was like, because uh. I was like, you know, <laughs> it was like I was being me, and I was like, oh, I see where she going with this. She flipping it around at the end, whatever. Oh yeah, yes, I remember. Yeah. I remember when when she switched up the thing at the end. I was like, oh, he's he's a piece of crap. He knows that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, whatever. I was like, ah, yeah, yeah. But like, like the thing about the song I fucking adore, adore is it's just one instrument. It's an acoustic guitar, and it's very like minimalist. Obviously, because it only has one in- instrument. But that ain't what I mean. <clears throat> what I mean is it definitely does not. Um, it plays a very small role in the song. It's like almost vocal, completely vocal, and the it's yeah, Jennifer. And the way she like, like and yeah, the way she turns it at the end of the song, lyrically and you know as far as like you know using the English language goes, is very super duper well done. Like from the very start, it's got the M Night Shyamalan twist already in the workings, but you don't see it coming until it comes out, and it's like oh shit! Insert gif of black dude like covering his mouth. In the white shirt with the goatee, y'all know which one I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, "Stay" by Sugarland is it's certain if you ain't ever heard it, if you have never heard "Stay" by Sugarland, like it's one of them songs. If you've never been broke up with, sadly, if you've ever been the side piece for anybody, and you just wanted them to lead a they main squeeze, you're an idiot. But also, this song was made for you. Um, it is the song you probably need. To get off your knees, metaphorically and literally, maybe, um, and just be like, "Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out." And uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I think we, we may have missed it. It says the only other instrument besides the the guitar is an organ. It has to be at the very end, then. I choose. Yeah, I do. I don't remember hearing an organ at all. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like the, the couple times I um, heard, I see fire. Like for the longest, I thought it was just a, an acoustic guitar, way. but it's not. The like, like at the end of the song, there's more, there's more instrument. But it really feels like it's just acoustic guitar and like thunder. Yeah. Times of war, so. Oh so, wow! I didn't know this. Apparently, Ronan Ronan Keating covered it. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an Irish not pop singer. Uh, it didn't do great. <laughs> How about that? That has to sound wild as fuck it peaked. coming out of him. <laughs> it peaked at number one twenty nine. Number one twenty nine. I think the song um, coming from a male doesn't have the same vibe to it. Oh my like, cause it, like, I feel like, no, cause I'm looking not. at it from a, mu- a musical point. Like the song is beautiful, but like I think a lot of people hear it like as like female empowerment. And from a man's point of view, like people are very like closed minded in that aspect. And I just don't think anybody would like no one would care. Like no one would feel for the inta- the protagonist in that story if it's a man. Like, I'm just be real with you. So like that might have had something to do with it. But also he was not American. So. Yeah, Jennifer's voice is so unique. Yeah, it's like, country. I don't know what Ronan Keating sounds like, but it ain't that. No, it's like... definitely not that. And like we're 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 calling it a bop, but you know the song actually the didn't song do song. that great. And oh, it's a sleeper America bop either. Yeah, it's a sleeper. It, it, it's it's so a like it. So on the Billboard uh, Hot 100, it peaked at 32. On Pop, it peaked at 36. In Canada, it was 48. Now on Country, it was number two uh, behind that hussy Taylor Swift. That hussy. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Boy, you, are you trying to tell me that, uh, that, 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 that funny little Reba ain't uh, did a uh, cover of that yet? She need to cover that bitch. Give myself a new power in the process. Funny lip, Reba? No, it's Black John McIntyre. <laughs> nah, it's Funny Lip Reba over in this household. Yeah, hey, Funny Lip Reba need to cut. Because I he, I can hear her voice doing that song, and it'd be perfect. Like, she yeah, she needs, like, I, I'm going to hit her up tomorrow on Twitter and be like, hey, cuz, get the cover this song. Ah. He laughing, but he's going to come around. Look, see, look, I'm at, like, look at all of the, the people you follow. All the people you follow and see, oh, this dude's been blocked by MC Hammer. He ain't yeah, good. I know. Yeah, the whole me getting blocked by MC Hammer. As right. you know, and I ain't got any Black uh, McIntyre and, and, and Hammer go way back. Oh, I, okay. I anyway, grab the stamp, Kadoosh, Stay by Sugarland, Certified Bop, because we are the, we are the leading <laughs> authority. Ooh, I almost lost it. Uh, we are the leading authorities on what is and what ain't good music. You heard it here a second. Uh, yeah. This now. Now what, are, what, are, what are your what are your what are you <laughs> we're deciding whether it's a bop or not? That is a country all guard. Didn't that guy took a real beating while trying to defend his locker. I could heal him, or I could just grab the shards and take off. Oh my god! Like I've been credentialized uh, off the wazoo, you know. Oh man! All right, it's your, it's your next. It's your go. We still got shoot like All right. fourteen minutes. So I rig my locker with I song, I number two. Give me a second to disable. I I think you're going to agree with this one. Mm-hmm. Maybe not this specific version, but I think you will agree. It is Jolene by Dolly Parton. Mm. It's a bop. I don't Those know about bop. Not. Mm. It's not. Mm. I forgot. I I forgot. I, I I parodied that song. I came up with some shit like that I thought was really funny, but I don't remember what it was, so that might not have been that funny. But the weird thing is, every time I hear Jolene, I see Roger from American Dad doing his version of it. And it's just Jolene, but there's something about him sitting in the car, and he goes into like he goes into it, and like yeah, because like it's it's another one of those songs where I've heard it all the way through, but I don't give a fuck about the song. I only like the first part, like and and uh, like I've never heard another version of it. I don't think I would want to. I can't imagine anybody could like. I mean, you just, you've had to have heard the White Stripes version, haven't you? No. Like, in you like, oh. no, well, in there, the are way this, of, there are a lot of, there are a lot of, and the way the song works is I don't know if it was, it's something I would, uh, really want to hear differently because like the, the twang yeah, in this, enough, it's another song about cheating. I, I mean, it's, it's country, man. Getting cheated on and your pickup truck dying on you. It's like <laughs> there was water in her exhaust. <laughs> biggest the biggest song in country music. Getting cheated on and, and your, your dog dying. dying. Your dog and your pickup. They die on the same day. Oh, man. Don't people. talk about the dog. That's gonna be the greatest album ever, guaranteed. Just wait until some country artist dog dies. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you know what? As of right now, they're all immortal. Oh, fuck. I don't really like. It's not that I don't want to argue with you. It's just that that song is dope, and that's the problem. Is like you I don't know if it's like you only like the beginning. I've never like sat and listened to the whole thing, and I know I've heard it in the car. Like Ryan with you, I don't know I done heard it. But damn no, is it a pop though? <laughs> Cause it's got the emotion. The you know what? Like, I'm I've, gonna say I've never encountered a person that like when they hear it for the first time, like when they hear it, they don't like it. I've never met somebody 
I've never met a person who doesn't like Jolene. I, yeah, I mean, she's a cunt, but, uh... Uh... Like, Dolly Parton doesn't like Jolene. What the fuck? She wrote the song about it. She's why she wrote the song. <laughs> uh... I, I, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to the song, not you. I'm going to give it to the song because, like, the emotion is just so there. Like, it's just, it's so strong. The emotion is so fucking strong in that song. It was like, it, she's crying. Like, you, she's crying before the song right? starts. Huh? Are you listening to it right now? No, I don't have a way to. Like, like without some, without, yeah. like... Yeah, Jolene is a, or Dolly, at least, she's a threatened woman, and she's begging Jolene, please don't, don't take my man. <laughs> I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. And she knows that jo Jolene can. That's the thing, though. Jolene a baddie. Yeah. Like, Jolene yeah. a bad bitch. She says, even though you can. Yeah. And long get it twisted, we talking about Dolly Parton. I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all real quick, like, we're going to certify this on the bop. I'll get to you. Certified bop. But here's a story, a true story about Dolly Parton. This is a true fucking story. Dolly Parton once lost a Dolly Parton lookalike contest. <laughs> she stumbled upon a Dolly Parton lookalike contest that was exclusively being run by drag queens and only had drag queen contestants and she was like what the hell is this <laughs> i'm assuming that's how she said it and they the, you know, the people she was with was like yeah it's a dolly parton contest the look like contest and so she's like well all right and she got in and she got into the contest and nobody was like no and like the funniest part the, the funniest part is like some like when she didn't even like place like not even top five like somebody's like your boobs are too small just they don't look real they don't look like dolly's boobs wow and just, yeah. wow and i only i can only think like this is the most like this is a like this is like i don't know what word to use because it's not hypocritical but it's just like proof that you're faking the funk because you don't know what she looks like like you, you're in. Like you're dressed as her. Like mm, I'm like, oh, I love me some Dolly Parton. I'm gonna dress like her and win this contest. But when she's standing face to face with you, you're like, who the fuck are you? Like get out of here. You don't look nothing like Dolly Parton. And like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. At no point at all was she standing face to face with any of them, because even yeah, Dolly Parton, without Dolly heels, too. any male is gonna tower over Dolly Parton. You know what's yeah. funny is like you know you know where she got her look from? Bozo. Like she she saw she saw uh she was out with her mom once and she saw a hooker. And she her. was like, Mom, what does what does that lady do? And uh her mom was like well uh she's like a lady of the night and dolly was like wow she thought she was the most beautiful person in the world and so I mean, that's, you know that's how you get the, dolly the parton big was bucks. born that's how you get the big bucks all right so we're slapping we're slapping that with a certified with a, with a certified certification <laughs> that's 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 the that's the stamp um now my next song Given like so the next song is gonna be like our final like real song of the night you won't know this one and then after that i'm gonna have like a like just a song i'm gonna intro introduce everybody to um uh Wait, we, what? no we have this is number two what do you mean number two this is number three no this is number three total yeah yeah, I have three songs. You have three songs. How many times did I tell you, like, I have a time limit? Like, I can stop. Like, well, then like, tell us what your song is so that we can know. I tell, okay. All right, because we, we can do the same categories more than once. You know. My next song is called 16 Ton, and it is by Tennessee Ernie Ford. 
Nah, I'm pretty That's sure. That's not real. That's why? Why is it? You're why isn't it real? Things, why is it not real? You're making stuff up. Why is it not real? What? I'm sending it to you. Hold on. I'm not. I'm sending it to you. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm sending it to you. No, you don't have to. I just. I just found it. I just found it. You don't have to send it. Oh, it's 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 Jamie Jam. So while he's listening to that, listen what to is that. this person? Is this person white? And hey, shit, yes. <laughs> Tennessee Ernie Ford. Yeah, he's white. I don't know. This 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 picture is suspicious. Nah, yeah, he looks Cuban. Um. Now, the song was covered by Johnny Cash. Or rather, it is a version of the song by Johnny Cash. Okay. Okay, here we go. 16 Tons is a song written by Merle Travis about a coal miner based on life in mines in ugh, Muhlenberg County, Kentucky. Travis first recorded the song at the Radio Recorder Studio B in Hollywood, California on August 8th. 1946. Cliffy Stone played bass on the recording. I don't know who Cliffy Stone is. I'm sorry. It was first released in July of 1947 by Capitol on Travis's album Folk Songs of the Hill. The song became a gold record. Now that was the you know the song was originally done by Merle oh. by Merle Travis. But Tennessee Er Tennessee I don't like it. You don't? I don't like it. It's got... There's like... Am I supposed to listen to this while I'm taking a jolly walk down the sidewalk? Like, what is this? I'm Should curious I be slapping the... my knee along with it? <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, what are you hearing exactly? Like, how's the song going? Uh... Oh dear. Oh. oh. He might oh, not have the song I got. Hit pause real quick. I owe my soul. Yeah, that's the right one. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, my soul of the company store. Doo, 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 yeah, that's doo, it. Doo, 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 doo. You know what? You know what was cool? The end of the song. You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day not, not older. Not because it's over. Because I, 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 I genuinely go. mean the end of the song is cool. <coughs> nah, but leading this up, This song has no. been recorded by, uh, it was sung live by Elvis Presley. It was recorded by the Weavers, uh, Red, Sa Red Savine, B.B. King and his orchestra. Uh, I'm trying to find some people that we might know. Uh, Michael Holiday, Eddie Arnold, The Platters, Chang Lu. <laughs> Chang Lu recorded a Chinese version that was released in 2017 on the album Songs by Chang Lu, as you do. Bo Diddley. <laughs> uh, are you sure it wasn't Songs in Chang Minor? No, it wasn't. Bo Diddley on his album Bo Diddley is a Gunslinger. Uh, Dave oh. Dudley. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Tennessee Ernie Ford released another version of the song 16 Tons 65 with largely the same lyrics as his first recording but a substantially different musical arrangement on a French EP of the same name. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Stevie Wonder recorded a, a version influenced by Motown soul, soul music on his uh, down there. Tom Jones did a version of the song with the Rockheads on his album Green's Green Grass of Home. Oh, Green Green Grass of Home. I'm so sorry I fucked that up. Uh, Johnny Taylor did a version. Bobby okay, Darin okay, okay. did a version. I can, no, 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 no. I can get behind in ton 65. I can get behind this. 
Okay. You're not I'm, hearing what I'm hearing, but I can get behind this. Okay, that might be the one I have then, because I just kind of like went with a. Uh... Oh, this is this is a drive. <laughs> Send me the link to the one you listened to first. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm finding the Tom Jones version. Because Tom Jones can turn anything into a bop. Oh yeah, yeah. Tom Jones will bop, bopify every damn thing. Leanne Rhymes did a version. Robbie Williams did a version. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he looks he looks so fucking Cuban. <laughs> oh, Tom. Tom Tom Tom. Oh no, this is the one. Oh yeah, that I don't like that. Ah, you sleepy slip. Uh Tom Tom just took it to church though. Oh, I mean it's fucking Tom Jones, of course he did. <laughs> uh, you know what? So in in its original form, yeah. I can not I cannot I cannot say it's a bop. However, okay. When you toss out the covers, I'm gonna give that cover a bop. So you say the song itself, the song itself, the song itself is, bop, is, bop, is bop, popular. The it's, song it's itself bop, is, bop, yeah. is bop is bop. It's bop, it's bop worthy. It's bop worthy because like bop the worthy. version he doesn't like is the version I like. Like I mm-hmm. love like the music. The music of it is good. Like I love it. I don't understand how he's like. Do I to walk down the street with a it's jaunty so, tune? What the fuck you talking about? It's it's fucking great. Like if you never heard it, so like it, it it's it's hard to describe the way the music sounds. Like don't go go by his description. Like I feel like y'all could hear it because my phone was kind of loud. Because my phone, uh, the Google Pixel Five, doesn't have like an ear grill. It just has a speaker behind the screen, and it vibrates the glass. And that's how you hear noise when you're on the phone. It's weird. Uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, we have to stop. Uh, and we've, we've actually gone over our time, but it's okay. We aren't, I don't think we're done here necessarily. Uh, so we will, uh, we, we, we're staying on. You have one other song, right? Well, yeah, we probably have to go a little longer than that just to fill out the other episode. But you know, I don't think like there's like a time limit on the whole thing. Either way, as far as YouTube is concerned, thanks for watching. Catch us in the next one. Yada, 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 peace. Oh, free Britney. Free Britney.